Okay, if you've had an ankle sprain and you're going through your rehab, you've got to make sure you're doing stability training, not just flexibility and strength. Now, in the gym, they've got things like BOSUs. Now, these are great things for stability training. They are a little bit advanced. So if you're at that point where you have done a little bit of balance work on the floor, maybe a little bit of wobble board, and you're ready to progress that, maybe you're trying to return to sport or trying to return to running, and you're getting to that sort of stage where I need some more advanced rehab, I would start using a BOSU, and I've got four exercises for you to do on that BOSU to help you with your ankle stability, post ankle sprain or post ankle fracture or any other type of injury that you have with your ankle. Now, the first one we're gonna do is simply balancing on it, and you have it with the flat side up, all right? Now, sometimes these BOSUs come really pumped up. This one is sort of halfway in between. It's not flat, it's not fully pumped up halfway that's where i like it because it's got a bit of wobbliness but it's not too wobbly and it's not too high okay if you have it too flat there's not much wobble going on so just see if you can get it semi flat which is like that okay and i would always when you start with this be close to a pole okay this is a hard thing to balance on so you really need to have done some a little bit of balance work first this is not your first point of call so Get that BOSU maybe close to something you can hold on to. If it's in the gym, maybe a bar, or if it's at home, maybe a wall. The first thing you're gonna try and do is simply can you just balance on that with the affected leg? That foot needs to go directly in the middle of that BOSU, okay? So not off the side or anything like that, just try and find directly in the middle. The best thing to do, if you see a midline through this BOSU between the two points here, the joint, you put your middle of your heel and match the middle of your toe box here, okay, in that, all right? Now, don't just step on it. You've got to hold onto this pole, get onto that bow with a little bit of weight, okay? And this is gonna be nerve wracking for some people. You're gonna think about, I'm gonna get this back leg on the back of the bow straight away. So I'm gonna hold onto the pole, straight on, okay? Now you should probably find that once you're like that, you're actually reasonably stable because you've got two bases of support for this right leg. I've got my left leg and I've got the pole. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and do is just get used to this for a start because balance training on this, you need to be thinking about, can I keep it still as much as I can? You're allowed to move, okay? I don't mind you moving, but can you just keep it still rather than doing this sort of thing, okay? If you're doing that, it's too wobbly. You need some you know, time on it to reduce that. And in some part of this is not just strength of your ankle, it's the neuroprogramming of balance to help you um, improve that. So. You're gonna stand with a bent ankle, a bent knee, and a bent hip. Don't try and do it with a straight leg. You're not gonna learn much with that. So bend your knee, bend your hip. So you're sort of sitting in a very small semi-squat, and that's gonna make you way more active through that leg. First thing you're gonna try and do is take that foot up. So can you balance there and fully load bear? So think of like, this is not fully load bearing through the ankle. So Part of the stability training is learning how to weight bear on that ankle for a little bit longer, okay? So you take one foot up and can you accept the weight through that ankle? Once you've got that, you've got to then try and think about taking this hand away. Now, obviously, I can do this reasonably okay. I've been practicing for a little bit, right? But you may find that as soon as you take the hand away, it starts doing this, okay? So what you do is if you take that hand away and it starts moving too much, just put your foot back on the back, okay? So you might find that standing without holding on here but having the foot on the back it's a better way of controlling that, okay? Then your mission is to try and lift that foot up or put it down, okay? So I don't mind that you sort of hold on every now and again just to correct about this while you're learning, okay? You're just trying to get used to, can you stand there on an unstable surface and every now and again just give yourself some reassurance? You'd be surprised how much just holding on to something helps you balance, okay? So that will be the idea. Make sure you don't make the mistake of putting your foot out here, okay, and letting it just sit on one side and go, hey, I'm balancing. The whole idea is to balance it in the middle, okay? So you're using the left and the right parts of the ankle to try and control that. So you're using muscles up your leg to control the ankle, but you're also using quads, glutes, core, your brain to hold you. And you'll probably find if you're working well in your hip, okay, to help control the knee and the ankle, you'll find this will work really hard here. If it is, that's great, that's what we want. We want the ankle using the rest of the leg in conjunction for that neuroprogramming to try and balance. We don't just, you know, this is not just to strengthen the ankle itself, it's the whole chain. And that's the key with these types of exercises is relearning 
from the brain to the ankle using the rest of that leg in because sometimes the brain does shut that down a bit after an ankle sprain or injury and you start losing some of that coordination through there. So that's a super one to start with. Now, if you get really good at that, all right, and you think balance is easy, you wanna go from 30 seconds up to a minute with that, three sets of that, maybe up to six sets of one minute on that, you then need to do a compass. Now, you would have done a compass before this, which is standing on one leg, trying to tap northeast, west, south with this, which is very similar to a star excursion test for a knee rehab. With this one, you're gonna try and do it on that. Okay, so you're gonna stand on that BOSU, get to the point where you're balancing, and then go, okay, can I go forward and tap the front of the BOSU? So which involves me doing dorsiflexion and balance. Can I step back as far as I can without putting weight through it? Can I go to that side, which is like a curtsy? Okay, keeping my knee in line. You can see how it starts getting more wobbly. And then can I go out that way? Now I don't mind, like I said, doing little wobbles like that. I just don't want big ones, okay? The little wobbles is what you have gotta learn. You're gonna start off wobbling, but refining that and having little bit of wobbles okay all the time, as long as you're refining it and you're learning how to go from left to right, front to back, as you shift your weight through that. And that will be your, you know, more advanced stability training than just standing on it, okay? So get your northeast, west, south compass sorted. You know, I would go one north, one south, one east, one west, four or five times in one little set, okay? Maybe do two, three, three sets of that, which is quite fatiguing, quite demanding, but amazing for your relearning of your ankle stability, okay? Now, once you've got that, then you need to focus on some dorsiflexion with that, and that involves doing a step down, because most ankle sprains lose the dorsiflexion ability, okay? So you've still got a little bit of that to go, this will help that, not just your stretching. So if you're on this again, this is where the third exercise comes in. You're standing on that, okay, on your core. You wanna go through a full step down, which is like a single leg squat on that, okay? Now, if you can get to this point where you can do a single leg squat, hold that nice and stable, you know that your ankle function is really, really improving at that point, and there's, especially if there's no pain with that, because you're doing a single leg squat keeping your knee in line. You're going through a lot of dorsiflexion, you're using your calf, and you're on unstable service. So that's gonna help you quite a lot. So I would then advance as your third exercise. Once you get that point, you need to start loading it laterally. And that's where I would flip this BOSU around the other way. So that's where you go round side up. And this is your classic BOSU side step. It's not a side jump moment, that's sort of another stage. But when you're in this sort of category of exercises, this one's a really nice one to do. What you're gonna try and do is sidestep onto this, meaning doing a lateral step up onto the BOSU, okay? You wanna be aiming for your foot to be on the inside of the middle, okay? So where you see the pump dot, or the, the bung, I should say, is you'll be landing there. Don't try and land on top of it, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna roll outwards, okay? This needs to be on the inside of that. Now, there's a couple of things with this. When you go onto it, you're gonna land toe first, you're gonna squat onto it and get your knee and hip over that foot, okay? You stand up and squat back. It's one movement. Okay, I don't want you going up and trying to balance it. There's no point in that because you're just gonna overkill. The whole idea is can you squat load up and down and come back in one movement, all right? So if I'm gonna go, okay, I wanna sidestep, I sidestep, squat up, squat down, sidestep back and come back, okay? And it's just repetitions of that, just practicing how good can you get that? So can you see how this is now still on stable surface, but the whole surface is wobbly at the foot, okay? It's not a flat surface anymore, whereas the other way around I had as a flat surface, and then the whole ground was moving. Now this ground is sort of uneven, which is, you know, all these things are very appropriate for life. When you're going out, maybe you're going on the beach or hiking, there's gonna be unstable surfaces and you need to be able to negotiate that. So. This one is really good for that, okay? Helps you sort of load bear and squat on one leg. It helps you with that lateral ligament complex on that side to learn how to not, not roll your ankle. Um, but also really good for sport because if people are gonna go back learning how to you know, sidestep, this is the entry point start for that to get to the point where they can then jump confidently with that. So that's my four. See how you go with those ones for your ankle rehab. See you next time.